Hey, greetings everyone, BJ Weller back with you for another fine Monday afternoon of streaming on the Extra Life for Kids channel as part of the official Extra Life stream team. Good to be back everybody, we had a week off last Monday for vacation time. We're back, although not all together in one piece, suffering a bit of a cold that I... Uh, it finally hit me uh, towards the end of vacation here on Friday. So I started feeling it on Friday. Saturday I was just, uh, Sunday I was, uh, uh, got back home Sunday afternoon, slept a little bit. That seemed to help. Got some actual good sleep uh, last night. That seemed to help a little bit more, but still, still suffering a bit from the cough and the congestion. So you have to excuse my voice and any hacking I might do for the next two hours or so. But we're back here anyway with a bit of the finish uh, continuing our city in uh, SimCity 3000 that we started way back in uh, May, June, July. Yes, May. I believe it was May uh, in SimCity Classic. Uh, and we've been portering, porting that city up into the newer versions of SimCity. So uh, we are currently at SimCity 3000. Of course, this is as far as we can go uh, with this particular city, as unfortunately SimCity 4 does not allow for previous cities, uh, or cities created in the previous versions to be imported into SimCity 4. Uh, so uh, in two weeks, when we start doing our SimCity 4 uh, month, uh, for the month of August, uh, we'll actually be continuing to work on the city that we have worked on previ on previous uh, shows over the last year or so. Um, so we'll just keep working on that one. In the meantime, uh, what are we doing here? Why is this? What is Extra Life, you may be asking? Who knows? Well, some of us know. If you don't happen to know what Extra Life is, well, let me tell you. Extra Life is a part of the Children's Miracle Network. Uh, now, if you live in North America, anywhere in North America, you should be uh, familiar with the Children's Miracle Network, even if you may not realize it. Uh, CMN has been around since 1983, uh, raising money for a network of, uh, as I recall, about 177 hospitals uh, all across North America, Canada, the United States, and Puerto Rico. And these are kid-specific hospitals. They are designed specifically uh, to treat children with every ailment and disease and, and injury that you can think of um, under the sun, really. Uh, cancer, birth defects, serious injury, serious illness, disease, like I said. Um, and it goes beyond that. It goes, uh, you know, they, many of these hospitals offer psychological counseling, psychological testing, um, and sort of other uh, programs as well, uh, violence prevention initiatives, um, and all sorts of quality of life stuff like art classes, uh, you know, music therapy, all, all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, uh, what makes this special, what makes this good, I guess you could say, is that these hospitals provide their services, uh, provide their treatments, provide their, their stuff, uh, regardless of the family's ability to pay for whatever their child may need at the hospital. And of course, obviously, regardless of the insurance company's willingness to pay for what the child may actually need to uh, get better or even save their lives in many, many cases. So that's, this, is, this is where CMN and by extension Extra Life uh, become so important because in order for these hospitals to do what they need to do and what what they have been doing for years upon years um you know they need the funding necessary and that's where they get from cmn and extra life and sorts of all sorts of other uh different things as well which of course i will be mentioning uh later on in the program miracle treat day july 27th let me sh throw that out there i'll be uh, talking a little bit more about miracle treat day uh in a little bit but um, but it is July 27th, and I think 100 ga Days of Gaming actually starts the day before, July 26th as well. So I'll be talking a little bit about 100 Days of Gaming as well uh, throughout the show. But Extra Life. So, uh, you know, CMN, again, you might be familiar with CMN, even if you don't know it. Uh, again, been around since 1983, have, has raised over $5 billion uh, to date uh, for these hospitals um through um the stylized balloons uh again you know if you walk into one of your local businesses throughout the year 
uh, you'll probably more often than not see uh, these balloons sitting on a counter somewhere at some point during the year. Uh, and what it is, you give a dollar, uh, donate a dollar essentially to the hospital. 100% uh, of what is donated through CMN and Extra Life goes to these hospitals. So you give a dollar, uh, you can write your name or, or a message or whatever you want on this balloon and the business will put it up somewhere along the wall so everybody can see, you know, who has supported that particular local Children's Medical Network hospital through their donations. Um, that's sort of what Extra Life is, but, it, you know, Extra Life does it in spades um, and it's specifically for us, uh, the gaming community. Um, Extra Life got started in 2008 due to the sad, uh, tragic uh, death of Victoria Enman. Uh, you can check out her story here. Uh, me, ooh, if I, if, if I can type correctly, uh, you can check out Tori's story. Um, and Tori's story is actually what got me compelled to do this, to do extra life, to become a participant. Uh, this is my fifth year participating, but it's through, um, Tori's death, uh, that extra life was born. Um, and like I said, Extra Life is for us, the gaming community. Uh, now, you don't have to be a hardcore gamer in order to participate. You just got to be able to play a game. Uh, and pretty much every single person out there can play a game. Therefore, every single person out there can actually participate in Extra Life. And it's really, it's really easy to participate. It's really fun to participate. We've got a great community here at Extra Life. Um, in addition to, you know, the great community we have with the stream team. But, you know, everybody who participates uh, is always so supportive of each other. Uh, this, is, this is a great thing to be involved with. Uh, but you simply go down to www.extra-life.org and register to become a participant. It only takes a couple of minutes to register, and it is free at the classic level. There are actually two levels of participation. One is the classic level which, uh, as I just said, was is, is completely free, costs you nothing to participate, except the time, uh, of course, that you volunteer to play, play the games you choose uh, to raise the money for your local hospital. So that's one of the things you do when you sign up again. It only takes a couple of minutes. You, obviously, you go through the standard registration procedure that you pretty much do for anything that you register for online. Uh, you get you pick the hospital that you want you, the donations that you collect to go to to support again 100% of those donations go to the hospital you know obviously as participants we don't get any of that it's completely voluntary on our part extra life doesn't get any of the donation money they have corporate partners um, that they work with to help uh, fund or, or take care of their overhead expenses so 100% of the donations go directly to the hospital. Uh, you sign up, pick your hospital. You can choose to join a team or create your own team or just play solo. Uh, I'll get into teams a little bit later in the broadcast, do a little bit more explaining what teams are. Um, is hospital, and uh, that's pretty much it. Now, those are, those are a couple of your choices. I don't recall if there was anything other significant. No, you basically just go through the process at that point, and you're good to go. You get a, a participant page, which is online. Uh, you can customize that, customize the URL, customize, you know, the title, all sorts of stuff on that page to make it personal to you and your hospital. Um, so that's the first step. You do that. Then uh, once you're all signed up, what you do is, is you go out there, talk to your friends, talk to your family, talk to your coworkers, anybody you know, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> um, who might be interested in supporting you and the hospital you have chosen to support through your efforts here. Get the word out. Um, that's pretty much the most important part. There's get the word out. Let people know what you're doing, why why you have chosen to become a participant. This is very important. Um, be passionate about it. Um, or one of the things you can do, of course, is donate to yourself uh, when you sign up. There is an option to do that as it comes up. Uh, and I highly stress that everybody who decides to participate donate to yourself, even if it's a dollar, five dollars. Uh, I cannot stress the importance of being able to donate to yourself. It shows that you're serious about the cause. And I'll encourage other people to donate to you as well. Um, so definitely donate to yourself when you sign up or anytime thereafter. You can do that as well. But is that you know, make sure you get the word out about what you're doing, why you're doing it, to encourage people to come support your efforts. And then step three, uh, you're good to go. You, you get out there, do your fundraising. And again, uh, the, the way you fundraise is entirely up to you. Uh, you can play PC games, as we're going to be doing here for the next two hours. 
Uh, you can play mobile games. You can play Facebook games. You can play tabletop games like Warhammer or Dungeons and Dragons or the uh, old Star Trek uh, tabletop game that I think I still have somewhere. Uh, you can play board games, Monopoly. You play card games. Um, you know, you play anything that's a game. You can bowling is a game, golf is a game, basketball, volleyball, uh, croquet, bocce. Uh, like I said, a whole bunch. You know, any card game really. Um, you can go out and play a game of tag. Um, trying to think what else. Cause there's some stuff I was thinking of even on vacation. It's like, hey, you know, that counts as a game. You can do that. Um, but yeah, and, and you can do anything. And we have participants. You know, over fifty-five thousand people participate each year. Um, and they play everything under the sun. There are there are participants who go out there and play games. You know, a game of baseball in their backyard. Um, and and it, it's again, it's great fun. It gets other people involved too. Um, but that's it. The three easy steps to do it, and you participate and you, you help the kids in your hospital. Um, you know, one of the things uh, I say here. Um, you know, you look at the news. And you see a lot of, you know, there's a lot of sad stories and there's a lot of tragedy that uh, the news covers, obviously. Um, and I don't know about anyone else, but me personally, every time I see one of those stories and stuff like that, I'm always thinking in the back of my head, I wish I could have been there to stop that. Or, or I wish I had the power to be able to, to, to help or prevent it or, or do something uh, um, to, to help the, the pain and suffering that these people are going through. And, uh, you know, when we're playing a game, you know, a lot of times in these games, you know, we do play the hero. You know, we have these superpowers or, or magic items or, or whatever it is. We're going through this game to save the damsel in distress, to save, you know, a town, to save the world, save the universe, whatever it is. Um, and that's the primary point of the game is go there, be the hero. Use your powers, save everybody. Um, but once the game's over, you know, we, we lose that ability to be in there and be this hero saving everybody. Uh, but Extra Life kind of gives us that power back, even just a little bit. You know, uh, like I said, you know, you watch the news and say, I wish I could do something. I wish I could help. Well, that's what Extra Life is. You know, we can help through Extra Life. We can help by participating, by raising money for our hospitals. Uh, like I said, even one dollar can really make a difference. Uh, in the lives of the children in these hospitals. One dollar can go towards buying a specialized bottle for a baby with a mouth deformity in order for it to, to nurse and feed and obviously live. Um, so even one dollar can go a long way to helping one of those types of children. So at the end of the day, you know, we may not have the, the, the superpowers or the ability to, to save the universe, uh that we do in a game outside in the real world we may not have those kind of powers but we do have this power we do have the power to go to extralife.org and sign up to become a participant and raise some money for our hospitals uh we do have that power to make a child's life better and at the end of the day be a real life hero with this money that we raise for our hospitals uh because we literally this money saves children's lives it makes their lives better this might goes to all that treatment all those quality of life things all the research and development and all that kind of stuff uh, that w without it you know those kids would not be getting the treatment they need and and eventually they would die um so so here we have uh something that gives us a little bit of that power uh, to be able to make a difference in the lives of our local children, our local community. So that's why I encourage everybody to go to www.extra-life.org, sign up, become a participant. Again, it only costs you some time. You know, uh, we have National Game Day coming up uh, November 24th. Like I said, uh, just about 102 days, if I can figure correctly, 102 days away. Um, you know, you don't have to do 24 straight hours, or in this case, it'd be 25 straight hours of daylight saving time. You can break it up. Again, you can fundraise however works best for you. You can fundraise 365 days a year if, if you so desire. You know, our fundraising year is January 1st through December 31st. You can sign up on January 1st, start fundraising from day one, go to December 31st, day 365, and you fundraise every single day. Um, if 
that works for you if that's what you want to do. You can fundraise just simply on National Game Day. You can fundraise the week before, the week after, two months before, two months after. Well, actually, well, one month after because, you know, again, it ends on December 31st. But, uh, yeah, however you want to do it. You know, you can do two 12-hour days, three 8-hour days. You can do one 365 one-hour days. However you want to do it. It's entirely up to you what works best for you. And that's one of the best things about Extra Life. You know, we're, we're here saving lives and we're doing it on our own terms. Uh, and again, it's for the gaming community. It's us as gamers. A lot of negative stereotypes around games, gaming community. This is something wholly positive. So if you are a hardcore gamer, I would definitely encourage you to sign up, participate. Because, hey, something wholly positive, something to, to uh, counteract some of those negative stereotypes that surround our community. Uh, makes us look good at the end. But anyway. Uh, let's get on with a bit of gaming here, shall we? Uh, do we want to do small window? Yeah, let's go to small window here. Oh, battery! Hey, battery! In fact, our fearless judgment gaming team leader, which I'll uh, be talking about a little bit later on in the show. Uh, as I mentioned, our teams. Uh, let's see, let's load the city here. So, thanks for joining me today, battery. Ah, so extra life. Oh, this would be the SimCity 3000 one. So, let's load her up and see where we're at here. Been a couple of weeks, I don't quite remember. Yes, I will try to cough as quietly as I can. As I try to shed the remnants of this cold here. I picked up at the end of vacation. Fortunately, it came at the end of vacation, not the beginning of it. As power plants age, they produce less power. Older power plants run the risk of exploding and should be replaced. All right, thank you. Okay, we are paused. Good. Let's uh, zoom out here. All right, so we've got our farm. That's uh, that's pretty much what we did last week. We got our farm up and running. Uh, we should have everything. Uh, where's our query tool? Everything should be historical. Yep, okay, just making sure here. That's not that good, right. So we made the all the farm tiles historical, so the farm would not go away uh, if the conditions surrounding uh, where the farm has built here change. Uh, okay, so good. We've got that. Build our marina, build a pond, so we've got some of this stuff built up. Finally got our bridges built. All our dirty, nasty industry. I think we were in the process of what we did here. Yes, was get our uh, garbage uh, landfill uh, complete here we got a couple of neighbor connections let me see here so we got the neighbor connection there i don't think we have any neighbor connections there for power and road uh, i think i should have water um, Yeah, I don't have water connected yet, so let me see if I can connect the water. I think I had to make a neighbor connection for water, if I recall correctly. So let's do that. Um, if I can get to the right spot here. Water pipes, here we go. Yes. All right, good. So we've got that neighbor connection as well. Excellent, excellent, excellent. back up to above ground here excellent so good we've got road power and water connected now uh, to that neighbor uh, I don't think I've connected uh, made any other connections at this point right nothing on that side nothing on this side and nothing on this side so I think that was one of my primary goals this time ah uh, yes our mighty two-man team <laughs> yeah indeed indeed Better than nothing, though. Better than nothing. Hey, you can even, yeah, you can even be, if you, you one-man team, even can make a difference, really, at the end of the day. Uh, let me see here. Our farm, so we got that, I think. There was something else I was going to build, I think, over on this island. I don't recall what it was. Let's see what our zone has here. We have our airport, we have our seaport, we have our landfill. 
Alright, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, no rewards yet. Landmarks. Oh yeah, well, I should put Independence Hall, huh? Even though know, this technically isn't really Philadelphia. American Museum of Natural. Oh, the Arc de Triomphe. You got your California Plaza, Capitol Inn, Capitol Records, Chatra Cathedral, CN Tower, the Quake Tower, Columbia, Concierge, Congress, Dome of the Rock, the Eiffel Tower, no. Empire State. We got, we got. Quite a few here. Oh, St. Louis Arch. Oh, the pyramids. Ooh, there's some pyramids down there. Ah, Notre Dame. The Old North Church from uh, Boston. The old State House. Yeah, we don't have pierogies. Oh, Renaissance Center. Ooh. Quincy Fair Market, huh? Rockefeller Center. Ooh, an aquarium. Maybe I'll throw the aquarium down. Washington Monument. Of course, the Capitol. The White House. Hey, hey, here we go. Oh, it's Mrs. Abbey. Oh, yes, we did. Ooh, maybe I'll throw the World Trade Center down. We'll do that at some point. I think we'll do that right now. Okay. Uh, well, you know what? Let's... Uh, Let's run this. Let's let's get this running here. Uh, so we do have to bring in some money here. So unfortunately, we can't do any of our building or repairing or anything uh, free of charge in this game. So the question is, so I think to make my life easier, what I'm going to end up having to do. Extend the extend most of these islands out, and I think that's what I was going to do over here. Extend this one out to make the neighbor connections easier. Whoop. Oh, they did not want to do that. Let's go. There we go. Right, what we'll do is do a little bit like that. There we go. So I'll give us our road and our power. This way. Oh, come on, Sinsuji. I gotta remember to save, too. There we go. Thank you. I guess I didn't need to do that, huh? So we'll make this neighbor connection. Uh, let's bring some power out here. Now the question here, how we, how did I do power here? Ran it from that power plant, okay. So just gotta make sure, so I'm thinking maybe build another power plant. So we have spare power to, uh, in the meantime, let's, um, get some water pipes built, so we don't have water here. Any who's a what's it way. So we, let's do that. Let's get a couple of pumps here. Pumping station, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see here. I guess we can throw a pumping station here. Uh, 
Why did that not show up? There we go. Didn't have something, uh, uh, I didn't have something, uh, connected correctly. There we go, we got that. Consider a career in garbage collection. Well, sure, why not, eh? Uh, da, da, da. Now let's build our water pipe. So let's see about getting you connected first to the mainland. Um, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Um, Gets that connected. You what? What's that? You want your drink? Aaron, can you get her her drink, please? Okay, thank you. Aaron will get your drink. Okay, so we've got our piping going there. So let's uh, let's run. No, 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 uh, pipe, 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 pipes. I'll do all the pipes, thank you. So, uh, let's run you out. Right, there we go. Oopsie. There we go. So that should get us water to there. Now what we we'll want to do is bring our water out. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. So we'll bring the water supply out. That's what I was afraid of. We'll have to do some terraforming, but you know what we're going to do? You don't like... Oh, hey, 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 hey. You don't like that. It don't like that. So what we've got to do. I could attempt to level the terrain under here. So that might do it. Let's see here. Yep, so I've got to raise this terrain. That might do it. No? <coughs> okay, so we'll have to do it this way then. Just follow the road. Make my life simpler. Yeah, so we've got that major connection. Excellent. Alright, let's go above ground view again. Nothing untold happened there, so we're good there. No, it's just the power. I don't, I don't necessarily want to waste too much space building a power plant, but I do want to get power across. Let's see, that's not going to work too well, is it? That's not going to work too well. Oh, for crying out loud. Alright. I'd have to do some more terraforming anyway. All right, so let's well, to make it easier. We'd probably want to do it right here anyway. All right, let's do it. Do 
Come on. Come on, some Z3000. Unlock up here. Thank you. Alright, that should fit our power plant now. Beautiful. And now I can make that neighbor connection. Yes. Alright, good, so we have a connection there. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That gives us two neighbor connections for road, power, and water. As a matter of fact, let me see my neighbors here. So we we're connected to Clearwater Straits. We are connected to Sheeton, I do believe. So we still got to connect to Stratsville and Bradford Falls. Okay. Free clinics. Do I have, I guess I don't have free clinics? Let me see here. Uh, this jail. Uh, uh, okay, Aaron, we'll get you down in a minute. I think we need a jail. I think that's actually what we need here. Um, no, no. Ah, yes, we need jails. We need more schools, of course we do. Well, schools ain't happening. I uh, already, should already have enough schools. Um, we do need a jail. I don't think we have a jail anywhere. And that's what I was going to build there, was the jail. Alright, that's our university. Yeah. Alright, so let's get the jail built. Oh, we can even throw the jail there. And of course, uh, that would cause problems with getting the road over, but... That would be so perfect. Hmm. So I might, um, I think I'll throw the jail there. I'll just bring the roadway into this island elsewhere and do something else on this island. The problem is I don't think I'm going to be able to. I might have to bring this part of the road out this way. It will not let me. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes, due to structural issues, of course. One of which being the power lines. So... I guess we're going to have to move the jail. Oh, well. Sometimes the best lead plans of mice and men off to go away. Yeah. Oh, you bum.
Hey, well, hey, that worked out anyway. I think I already had uh, pre-planned for that and did the... So we'll throw the jail there. Good. We got the jail there. Alright, that works. Ugh. All right, so we have a jail. Phil is filling up. We have no neighbor deals yet. I was hoping for neighbor deals, but just see. Okay, so we've got that island squared away. Seaport's good. Airport is good. The military base is what we're missing, but I don't think there is a military base here. So I recall subway, sub to rail, demolish rails, subway. Uh, landmarks we already went through. Boards and opportunities, nothing. So we got our ballpark. Uh, yeah, zoo, marina, playground, pond. We've got all this stuff. On education. Hospital, school, college, library, museum. We've got all that stuff. So, uh, oh, you know what? Free clinics. Um, free extra life to escape high taxes. What? <sighs> Business community thumbs nose at high commercial taxes. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Have a nice day, Club, huh? Uh, see these names, you know, good schools, good intelligence. Hello, Abigail. Quick libraries, you see the necessary. Oh, be careful. Oh, you're a fairy princess again, huh? Now get me uh, up. We do have military base offer. But. Oh, okay. We're cheating your quest power deal. Yes, let's accept that deal. Uh, there's this water deal. that deal. Hopefully they were buying power from us. Alright. Bradford offers trash deal. Yeah, we don't want that. Yeah, we're not going to spend it. Roaming Arts Center. Ah! Alright, so we got our Performing Arts Center. Tire Recycling. That was that. Uh, to need military base off. Here we go. Let's accept it. Okay. The clinic's ordinance. Yes, let's enact that. Oh, we're offered a lighthouse. Oh, we will most certainly accept that. Performing Arts Center. Excellence. Uh, 
Ah, water deal, okay. Let's accept that deal. Recycling center. <sighs> Farmer's market for proposed. Yeah, let's enact the farmer's market since we do have a farm. Need more parks, good police coverage, good. More schools. Alright, so let's see what we got here now. Uh, there's the military base. There's Geyser Park. There's the Performing Arts Center. Excellent. So, <laughs> Arts Center. Military base. Let's throw this down first. Whoa. That's a lot bigger than I anticipated. Oi. Wow, this thing is huge. I have to do some terraforming for this guy. So I'll throw it here. Wow. All right, um, hmm. You can use through the military base here. So let's terraform a bit here then. So the military base down. That rewards. Here now. Oh my god, not yet, huh? Now maybe it should fit. Dang it. I have to pick the right spot here. Right ah, there we go. <laughs> All right, so we've got that. Now we just gotta get rude to this island. Zoom in here. Almost tempted. That would be problematic. Probably have to do it. Yeah, see, it's probably rude. Fear is gonna be an issue on this island. Getting it on this island here. Uh, some more major terraforming abilities. Um, let me see here, though. Obviously, it's going to tell me it can't. This is all this nonsense. So, let's zoom in here. And we'll have to bulldoze. And we will have to go underneath. Uh, underneath our city here. And try to level some of this out. See if that helps at all. Alright, so we're going to have to pause. We have to delete what we need to delete here. Again.
Uh, let's go underground view again. Rouge is here. So that's what I need to level out here. So hopefully that will be enough. Yes. Okay, good. Alright, so that takes care of that. Alright, let's go ahead and play. Zoom out here and, uh... Hello, Marley. Oh, Marley, look at you. You're such a lonely doodle. Oh, did you miss us, Marley? Oh, Marley. You good boy. Yo, you're a good boy. Oh, you're a puppy. Oh, you're a good puppy. You're a big boy. Yes, you're a big boy. Well, I think it has power. Mm. This way. Oh, that works out nicely. There, there you go. Alright, let's check water. Because then now we can sort of think about getting our connection here. I think from here we'll do the connection from this part here. So let's level this turn. Um Cheating off this garbage deal. Yeah, we're not going to buy. Do we want. Yeah, let's knock that. Recycling center. I still got to work on the recycling center. Alright, yeah, let's accept that. Request the water deal. Here we go. Yeah, let's accept that deal. We got wall, plenty of water. Water deal ends. What? No! Should have plenty of water. Clear water buys our water. Sheet and buys your power.
Should have plenty of water. Um. We have not run dry. Do need water there though. Water there. Throw down some more pumps. The more pumps the merrier anyway. Give us plenty of water, says I. Let's check our underground view now. Yeah, I know. More fun. We'll get you guys some fun. Don't you worry. There's water pumping there. It was sheeting a real possibility. Good. We should have another water deal one. Let's throw down a ton of pumps now just to make sure we don't run out of the water. I need water for that island, that island, of course. anyway. Again, welcome everyone. BJ Waller with you on the Extra Life for Kids channel for the Extra Life stream team. Playing a bit of SimCity 3000 here for your viewing pleasure. For Extra Life.
Okay, so far so good. Let's see where we're at. Let's do that for something. Something bad happens to us, eh? There we go. Okay. Then what we'll do, let me check, uh, let me check these here. All right, good, thanks. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Still trying to get over a cold here. All right, so let's do this before I forget to do that. Um, All right, so we're making money still. Mostly because of his neighbor do this. Oh, taxes, taxes, taxes. All right, is that better for you? 553, if I bump that down, 552 anyway. All right, let's see if that helps. As long as we're still showing a profit, neighbor deals here. We lost the Clearwater Straits deal. Yes, I will sell you some water. Yeah, we don't... You know, trash is fine. Alright, we got our performing arts things. Alright, I lowered the taxes. I hope you're happy now. Oh no. Oh, for God's sakes! How is that even possible? Alright, so let's do this then. Let's throw some more pumps down here. Our power clear, and we have no deals with them right now. Okay, at least we're getting power. <sighs> Killing me with this. Figure that did not work too well there. There we go.
sure all our water's interconnected here. All right, that works. All right. Hey, Rodash, hello. Caitlin Short as well. Hello, thank you. Welcome to the stream. Doing a bit of SimCity for your viewing pleasure. Hell, next extra life for kids channel. All right, so good. All right, so let me uh, let me do this. I think I'm going to keep fixing up some of the pipes here. Um, we're going to go to a quick video break here to show you where how this extra life money, how the money we raise for extra life helps. Again, um, extra life is part of the Children's Miracle Network. Um, you know, it's for us, the gamers. Uh, it gives us the opportunity to be real life here, is to actually be able to do something uh, to make the make a difference in our local communities, make a difference uh, for the lives of the kids uh, of our communities who need to go to a hospital for whatever it may be, cancer, birth defects, serious injury, serious illness, you know, life-changing operations. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Ooh, me. Hmm. Still trying to get over cold here. <coughs> oh. Yes, there we go. Another hacking fit we've got going on here, but. Sure, I might need a hospital soon. Um, but yeah, so uh, what we have here, we have what are called Extra Life Stories. And uh, these stories sort of follow the path of, of a child who needed the services of their, their local hospital. Um, and so it, it just goes to show, you know, how the money helps. These kids, that the money helps. Uh, so let's see, who do we leave off? Milka, so let's do Nate's. Nate's story. Do, 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 do. So let's uh, take a look at Nate's story. And then uh, on the flip side, we'll be back to talk more about Extra Life and Teams and Miracle 30 today, if I have to remember. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Stick around, it'll only take a few minutes. And again, uh, you know, it just, it, it's one of those videos that, you know, gives, motivates us as participants to say, yes, this is why we do it. This is why we Extra Life and why I Extra Life. So let's take a look at Nate's story and we'll be back on the flip side. Oh, there we go. Nate's story. So yes, again, you know, one of the things that, uh, <clears throat> that um extra life helps you know again it, it's 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 all sorts of things um you know cancer birth defects serious injury serious illness you know my own hospital children's hospital of philadelphia has done some several groundbreaking procedures uh the first i think the world's first ever successful double hand transplant uh, a few years ago uh, just recently just this past june about a month and a half ago um, a, a successful um, surgery to separate uh, conjoined twins who were conjoined at the head, which, ironically enough, um, I actually um, featured this story on one of my own Extra Life broadcasts on my channel, uh, which I do every Friday afternoon. Um, ironically enough, the two conjoined twins were named Aaron and Abby, which are the, the, the names of both my children. Um, so that's where this money goes, you know, for all sorts of different things that, you know, simply would not be possible if we here at Extra Life weren't putting forth our efforts as participants to raise as much money as we can. And so uh, you can see, you know, again, every dollar makes a difference. You know, that's, you know, now that 100 Days of Gaming is starting in a couple of days here, where, uh, you know, people who participate in 100 Days of Gaming, so going to be sub and filter when I can with modding. Ah, oh. oh, 
Anyway, oh, your last Monday? No! Hard to wake up after work from uh, my overnights to make sure I can stream. Oh, yeah, I under I definitely can understand that. Give me a sub and uh, fill in what I can with modding. Oh, good. Well, at least, uh, yeah, you're still a member of the stream team no matter what. So, uh, yeah, it was great uh, having you with us, Aerodash. Definitely great. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, great to still have you with us. Anyway. Um, but, yeah, so... You know, it's very important. Again, you know, you sign up at www.extra-life.org. Um, again, at the classic level, it's completely free. Um, costs nothing but the time that you obviously um, dedicate to your fundraising efforts uh, by playing games. And again, you can play anything, you know, board games, uh, a game of baseball or tag out in your backyard. Uh, you make up your own game, really, too. If you, you know, play Fizbin. If you so desire. Uh, Three-dimensional chess, why not? Um, card games. So, yeah, if you play a game, you can participate in Extra Life. But like I mentioned at the top of the show, there are two levels of participation. Again, Classic level, which is free. Uh, there's also the Platinum level, which um, you can do as you sign up. Uh, it's basically a $15 registration fee that you pay when you sign up or anytime thereafter. You can actually upgrade yourself to a, a the platinum level of participation anytime after you sign up in a calendar year uh, so if you sign up today and say hey I just want I just want to try this out at the classic level perfectly fine it's perfectly acceptable so you can sign up today as a classic level participant and say you know three months down the road let's say September or National Game Day even is coming up around the road and you've already raised some money for your hospital say you know what I think I think I can go that extra mile. I think I want to become a platinum level participant. Well, you can do that just by going back and uh, upgrading yourself, uh, paying that fifteen dollar registration fee on the site, and and you'll become a platinum level participant. And basically, what the platinum level of participation does is open opens up a higher tier of rewards. Rewards, you say yes. Rewards, said I. Uh, we are rewarded our, as participants outside of, obviously, the the good feels that we are doing helping the kids of our local communities. We are actually uh, rewarded for being participants and meeting certain fundraising goals. So even at the classic level, uh, you do get these rewards. So some of the rewards are, you know, you get, uh, you know, discount um, game codes. You get free game codes. I think we've gotten in the past. We've gotten a three-month uh, we always get a three-month XSplit code. XSplit is a corporate partner with XLife, so we get a uh, code for that, which is streaming software. If you happen to be a streamer, it's very nice. Um, so all sorts of stuff like that. There's a discount code for a nice handcrafted Extra Life specific uh, wooden smartphone case. So stuff like that. So again, you know, those are some of the rewards that we get throughout the year for meeting certain fundraising goals. Uh, but again, the platinum level participation. Uh, opens up uh, a three uh, a three more tier reward type thing system whatever I, that didn't come out right but hey um, so at the two hundred dollar level as a platinum participant you get to earn an extra life t-shirt uh, this t-shirt changes every year there is a contest for participants to design the current year t-shirt so um, we do have the winner. So that's the shirt for 2017 celebration. I think celebration is sort of the uh, title of that T-shirt design by Molly Putman. So congratulations to Molly for this year's uh, 2017 winning design for the Extra Life shirt. Again, for uh, raising $200 as a platinum level participant, you will get this shirt. So I'm looking forward to earning that this year. So my fifth year participation, I've gotten a shirt every year. Awesome sauce. Um, and what did she, Molly actually won? There's actually a trip to E3. So Molly actually won a couple of tickets to attend E3 this year uh, for designing the wing t-shirt. So again, and, and another one of those things that as a participant, you can do. If you've got a little bit of artistic talent, you can participate in these t-shirt contests and earn a cool prize. As well as being super notorious for designing the, the actual logo for the shirt that everybody looks forward to. To wearing. Uh, we also have, let's see, is there anything else? Uh, we did a couple of updates. So right now we've got over 11,000 people uh, who've signed up to participate. So congratulations to everybody. We've already raised over $1 million so far uh, this year. And we haven't even 
we're not even we're, we're still over 100 days out from national game day so a couple of things i did want to mention miracle treat day um again the, again it's it's more than just extra life you know there's a lot of things that go on with cmn and one of those things that goes on is miracle treat day so um miracle treat day is something that dairy queen uh does every year um they have there's actually two miracle treat days i don't know um if there are two this year last year there were two uh, one for the United, one they held in the United States, the other one they held in Canada. So last year in the United States, uh, I forget the exact date, but it was at the end of July uh, for Miracle Tree Day. That was a, a day in August for Canada. So I don't know if it's the same this year or not. I do know that Miracle Tree Day is coming up this Thursday. I think it's Thursday, July 27th. So uh, what Miracle, hashtag Miracle Tree Day. So if you go to Twitter, if you are a twit, a full as myself, um, and many other people. Uh, you can go to Twitter, check out the hashtag Miracle Treat Day for everybody who's hyping up Miracle Treat Day. Uh, this Thursday, July 27th, go to uh, your local participating Dairy Queen, buy a blizzard, and $1 uh, from that sale will be donated to the local Children's Miracle Network hospital that the Dairy Queen is uh, raising money for. So uh, everybody go out, get their blizzards Thursday. I will most certainly be doing that. And uh, I will be showing that off uh, on one of my streams uh, on my own channel this coming Thursday as well. Uh, like I mentioned, 100 Days of Gaming starting should start this Wednesday, as I recall. As a matter of fact, let me, uh, uh, let me uh, check out my little thingy foof topper here. And it should tell me. Pretty sure it starts this Wednesday, July 26th. If I can get into the right folder. I can never get into the right folder is my problem. Uh, that's the one I'm looking for, and I'm looking for this guy right here. See how many days left we have. I, if I, if I configured correct, if my maths was correct here, uh, we should be, we ought to be, yes, 102 days out. Extra life. So let's see. Tomorrow is 101, uh, which is the 25th. So 100 days out. Yes, indeed. Wednesday, July 26th. 100 days of gaming starts up. Uh, and what 100 days of gaming is was is actually something started uh, a few years ago now. I think this is the third, third or fourth year uh, of 100 days of gaming. It was actually started up by our former. Uh, stream team lead here at Extra Life, who has now gone on to bigger and better things with uh, the the organization. Although he still he still he still hangs out with us from time to time. Um, here by clicking, uh, Lou. Yes, he started this. Uh, like I said, uh, three, about three or four years ago now, um, as a way to motivate himself and get geared up for National Game Day, which is November fourth and fifth this year. Um, so essentially, what it is um, at at the core. It's, uh, you know, as an part, Extra Life participant, uh, you um, challenge yourself to play uh, one game for at least one hour every day for 100 consecutive days, leading right up into uh, what would presumably be your 25-hour marathon. So we've, we've, had, uh, we've had about 30 people um, participate to take this challenge uh, over, the year, over the last couple of years, obviously. I, uh, I am a participant in that too. But again, you know, at, at its core, it's uh, one different game. So 100 different games for one hour a day for 100 consecutive days. But again, like everything else in Extra Life, you do what works best for you. So if you are a participant, you're interested in participating in 100 days of gaming, go to 100, the number 100. As a matter of fact, I can, I think I can type this out. So 100 days of uh -huh, gaming. So it is right there, 100daysofgaming.com. You go to that, that'll take you to um, a little website that Lou had set up, uh, and you can sign up to participate and follow everybody else who's uh, participating in the 100 Days of Gaming Challenge. So again, uh, I will be starting that this coming Wednesday. Uh, so I will be streaming uh, every day uh, for 100 consecutive days starting Wednesday, July 26th. Uh, probably not 100 different games because I do have my own stream schedule on my uh, channel, so there are certain games I play on a regular basis. Uh, but we'll be, be pretty close. I've got I've got more than enough games to certainly handle that capacity. So that's something else. That's something else. Again, that's one of the things 
um, that's great about Extra Life. You know, if you have this great idea for, for raising money or, or getting people geared up for Extra Life or getting the word out about Extra Life, you know, let us know. Go ahead and do it. Let us know. Uh, share with the community. Um, because anything that makes m more people interested, anything that gets more word out about Extra Life, um, the better. So again, a couple of things I do in addition to, to Miracle Treat Day. Um, yes, excellent. Thank you, Aradesh. Uh, you know, Miracle Treat Day, 100 Days of Gaming. Um, you know, obviously the stream team as a participant, I, you know, and a streamer, I can participate in the stream team. You know, um, you know, other things, you know, um, I, I have my, what I call hashtag, you know, it's a hashtag for Twitter, so I'll tweet this out. One dollar at a time, because at the end of the day, one dollar can really make a difference in the child's life. Like I said earlier, you know, one dollar can go towards buying uh, a, a, a bottle that's specially designed for a baby with mouth deformity so that baby can nurse and feed. So one dollar can really make a difference in the child's life. So definitely, like I said at the top of the show, I'll say again, uh, if you do sign up for, to participate, whether it be at the classic level or the uh, platinum level, please, please, please uh, make a donation to yourself. Make a donation to your own cause. Um, no participant should ever finish the fundraising year with zero money raised. Uh, even if you only raise, even if the dollar or five dollars that you raise is what you donated to yourself, that can make a difference to a child's life. And at the end of the day, it'll get the ball rolling. It, it'll help it'll encourage other people to donate to you as well if they see that. You know, even if it's just you donating to yourself, that'll encourage other people to donate to you. Um, yes, one dollar can buy bubbles to distract during chemotherapy. Yes, all sorts of quality of life stuff, music therapy, art classes, all kinds of that stuff. So that one dollar really can make uh, a huge difference. Um, you know, again, Children's Miracle Network, those balloons that you'll see in your business, one dollar, that's just a one dollar donation. Um, and like I said, top show, over, over five billion dollars raised, uh, since 1983, one dollar at a time. So one dollar can make a difference so never underestimate the power of a dollar when it uh, when it comes to extra life or the children's miracle network so again like i was saying you know all sorts of things you can come up with you know i've in addition to to the hashtag one dollar at a time uh or you know again our miracle treat day a dollar from dairy every a blizzard a transaction going to the hospital you know you can do things uh your own sort of challenges and and fundraising things you know there are people who uh you know say hey you know i'll shave my head if i raise a certain amount of money in fact i think battery h um he has a challenge where if he meets a certain goal uh, i think he, he's going to let his kids dress him up uh, as a ballerina or, or something to that effect so you know, all sorts of fun things that you can do to encourage people to donate to you and essentially make yourself look like a fool but hey it's for a good cause myself i have what i am doing this year called uh purple hair challenge so if I can raise $1,000 before I start my marathon on November 3rd, I will dye my hair purple for my marathon. So a little something, you know, things to consider to help your fundraising efforts. In the meantime, let's get back to uh, trying to help out our sim citizens here. Uh, let's see, do we have any other ordinances or neighbor deals that we might want to discuss here? Okay, we need more schools, more hospitals, of course we do, lower taxes. Uh, oh, let me, I, I already lower taxes, so you know what? You people need to take a chill pill. Uh, offers trash deal. Yes, we do not need to sell our extra trash. We've got plenty. Uh, request water deal. Uh, okay, well, let's see how long this one lasts. Water meter proposed. Fine. Show sort of closing the watch ordinance. Industrial tax is high. Well, yes. Uh, something needs to be taxed. More parks. We need parks, schools, and hospitals, huh? All right. Uh, let's see where we're going to throw down some more parks, schools, and hospitals. Now we can, you know, we can do some stuff here. Let's throw down. Uh, we actually do have some more rewards and opportunities. So defense contract. Oh. So let's do that. Let's uh, throw our defense contractor next to the military base. Why not? Because it works out beautifully. <laughs> oh my god, really? Okay, so we'll throw the defense contractor down. I'd rather have it next to the military base. So that means I'm going to have to do some of this. 
do some more terraforming here. Uh, I'll throw the defense contractor down. Oh, you're killing me. Alright. We'll fix up some of our land. Once we get this down. Okay, so good. Now we can throw down our defense contractor. There we go. Okay. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's throw down some more pumps, too. That way we can be assured that this neighborhood deal is not going to backfire on us again. Throw down a pumping station there. We can throw down a couple more there. Throw down a couple here. I did fix up some of our pipes as well under new ground, so let's go clean up some of our pipes structure. Uh, Zaladar shaved his beard and dyed his hair. Well, there you go. Two for one deal there. Nice. So let's do that. Everybody else should be connected, yes. Okay. Yeah, so all sorts of different things that you, you can do. That, essentially, you have fun with it. You know, that's the important thing about Extra Life. You know, playing games is fun. Uh, so whatever you do, make sure you're having fun with it. Because that, too, will, will encourage people to help support you. If they see that you're having fun, that you're enjoying what you're doing, that, you know, you support what you're doing, um, pe people will, you, the donations will come. I mean, it's never easy asking for money, you know, you, you look left or you look right, you know, there, there's organizations all over the place asking for money. Um, so, you know, it, it's always tough when you're, you're trying to ask people to, to be generous and, 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 and give their hard-earned money to a certain cause. Um, so have fun with it, you know. Don't get discouraged is, is, is one of the things I do. Again, no matter how much you raise, it makes a difference. If it's $1, $5, um, it, it, it's still an important contribution. It's still important that you, you've done what you could uh, to help the kids of your hospital and help Extra Life. All right, so we need, we need to place some more of these buildings here. So Geyser Park, Forming Arts Center, and the Lighthouse. Where should we put the Lighthouse? That's the question. How big is this thing? Oh, it's not too big. I guess the Lighthouse probably would make more sense out here somewhere. Um, so we'll put the Lighthouse out here. We're near the seaport. So we got our lighthouse built. Let's go, uh, I forget what that is. Let me see what this thing is. The county courthouse, okay. Um, kind of thinking, where should I put the performing arts center? That's the question. Might have to make more landfill over here, so I think I'm going to reserve that spot. Um, for more landfill land. Uh, military defense over there. We don't have anything out this way yet. So, you know what? We don't have anything out here. So, let's see here. Uh, Geyser Park and the Performing Arts Center. So, let's throw the Performing Arts Center out here. Oh, good. That'll actually fit nicely right there. <laughs> yes, bravo! Bravo! And Geyser Park, how big are you? you oh, you're actually pretty big. Um, hmm. Hmm. <sighs> come on, come on, come on.
you know, I guess we will put it there. That should be all we need. Geyser Park, okay. There we go. Next to the farm, sure, why not? Ha ha ha. Alright, there we go, we got a little geyser. I think that geyser actually does, it does go off. Yep, there it goes. There's our geyser. Excellent. Alright, that works. Let's take a look at these neighbor deals here. Yep, we lost the water deal again. Freaking killed me with this. We should have plenty of water. And they keep hitting me with more penalties, so... I guess I'm going to have to ignore water deals for the time being. They're just, they're just not helping me at all. I uh, know, we don't need to buy garbage. Yeah, I know, I'd love to accept your deal, but uh, apparently as soon as you guys start taking my water, it doesn't work anymore. So we're going to have to stick with power. Power deals here. Let me check my budget anyway. Yeah, we're losing money right now. Yeah, unfortunately. No business deals yet, huh? We went to the contract, uh, the government contracting does. You're not helping me at all, so we've got none of that. Um, need more parks, another hospital. Uh, shoot, just not enough space. Unless I, uh, ah, man, so I hate terraforming when it costs me money. Um, hmm. Look, the hospital next to the prison right now. I need to save that for garbage. Gotta keep an eye on our landfill there. Uh, yeah, really no other place to go in the city itself. Ew, green sludge. Hmm. Alright, let's go over here with it. Right next to Geyser Park. There we go. Okay. Oh, we should get a school. We should add a school. So, um... Alright, I'm just going to terraform this. So let's throw the school down there. Okay. We can fit a school there if we so desire. Um, fountain? Fountain is small. There we go. There's a fountain. <laughs> You know, let's throw some pumps here. Pump, pump, pump. I meant to pump. Thank you. Oh, grand view, please. Thank you. So let me throw that pump there. Throw some pumps here. Oh, we have no. Oh, we have no 
power over here? Really? Hmm. Well, in that case, let's do a couple of windmills here. stations down here. <sighs> you guys should be getting power at some point. Mmm, hard, man. <coughs> Come on. <coughs> mm. Matter pumpkin. I'm not gonna do any landmarks for right really Throw another museum. Oh, museum's a bit too big, so we'll throw the museum here. Uh, library is the library small? Yes, good. So we'll throw the library there. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me, people. Still trying to get over a cold that I picked up at the end of my vacation this weekend. Um, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. And watch Nemo and Dory. You want to watch Nemo and Dory? Okay. Yeah, I want to watch Nemo and Dory. Okay. Um, a couple of pumps there. There, then we can put it up there. Yeah, open that. Yep, power plants. All right, there we go. I think that'll work nicely. I still need a recycling center. Now, I don't. I guess I have to enact the new ordinance for that. Water conservation, power conservation, stairwell lighting, mandatory water meters, uh, mandatory use the curfew, crossing guards, all of which costs money. Uh, free clinics we've got, so community CPR training, nuclear free zone, uh, junior sports, mandatory smoke detectors, neighborhood watch, use the crossing guards. And fill gas recovery. Well, let's go leaf burning, man. That costs us nothing. Uh, yeah. Container. Anything else here? Ah, uh, you know what? We're gonna have to legalize gambling. Uh, subsidized mass transit costs us nothing. And industrial pollutant impact fee. There we go. So 
We'll bring in some more money. I don't see anything about recycling now. It's a tire recycling we got. Okay. Never rewards or opportunities. Uh, playgrounds. School's got to have a playground, right? We got a playground out there. Good. Uh, let's go. Well, you know what? Large park. How big is the park? Yeah, a little bit too big. Uh, the fountain, the pond. I think the pond is kind of small, so good. The pond will work there too. if we've got any neighbor deals here. I think just the one power deal. Okay. I don't think it's going to uh, be worth it to try to make connections to the other neighbors at this point because you know, we've only got 10 minutes to go here. Actually, we, oh, we do have next week, don't we? Yes, next week will be the last week for SimCity 3000. So we do have some time. That needs more schools, more parks needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. One years. I uh, show. Sure. Yeah, here. I know. Yeah, see, well, only if it brings in more money tax-wise. Just a matter of garbage to see the state's dreaming rank and recycling for us to be nuts. Some cities are able to support you for us. We don't see these matters as a serious investment in public A bus, uh, so it would be a good shot. Okay, model funding. So I guess I gotta figure out where the recycling center is. Offers garbage deal. We will definitely check that. We're not going to do anything with the water deal yet. Uh, power conservation, shell service, smoking ban, all the ordinances everybody wants. Uh, yes, yeah, so they're not excessively high. Go away. More schools. All right, so we'll see about more schools later. We've got to see if it's in the budget. Yes, okay, so we are making a bit of a profit now. Okay. That's something. Uh, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, go and try something before going live. All righty. All righty, Aerodash. Let me know when you are ready. Uh, let's see here. What else do we want to try here? Oh, yes. We want to try to find out. Ah, recycling center. Incinerator. And waste of energy incinerator. Okay. Uh, this is more trash, this is less air pollution. Okay, so good. So we definitely want a recycling center. There's the recycling center. Okay. Uh, where shall we put our recycling center? Right here, huh? Mm. That would actually probably be a good idea. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, a little fit there. So I'm thinking maybe through the waste management facility next to the prison. Uh, 
Oh, there's, the recycling center will fit there. So maybe put the recycling center here. We got this. Uh, yeah, it's next to the farm. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? We'll keep it next to the farm, back of it. Let's throw. Zoo, ballpark, fountain, large park. Now, large park's too large, right? Yeah. Small park, let's throw a couple of fountains down here. There we go. Out by the farm. We can throw another small park here, can't we? Small park. Uh, the fountain next to the hospital. Um, another small park here. There we go. That works. Alright, so uh, what else do we have? Garbage is supposed to. We got an incinerator. Waste to energy. That's 25,000. Expensive, but uh, you know what? I think we can do that. So it'll help cut down on our trash, too, because that is getting full. So let's go waste to energy incinerator. We'll put that right there. On top of that, let's throw down some more pumping stations. Wants to renegotiate power deal. All right, so let's do that. Reese my power will buy from you and fixtures if you do not you may cancel the deal. Uh if you, okay, I will accept the new terms. Ooh, there we go. Swing van, shell service, parking food for water deal, water meters, course promotion, conservation for paperwork, public access TV, stereo lighting, stretch little offers, uh, more trash. Trash customers reject the deal. I'd like to buy trash from you people. That's what I'd like to do. So you know what? Let's throw some more pumping stations here. I'll take care of that. Let's throw a pumping station down here. Throw a park down there. Yeah, where we go, fountain. So let's throw a park there. Why not? There we go. So I think that'll work nicely. Ooh, all right there, baby cakes. So we'll see. Next week we'll see about getting. Our other neighbor connections up, and we'll see uh, about anything else that we may need to do here. In the meantime, let's see if I can just, uh, you know what, let's do this. Um, here, let's save the city, so we don't forget to do that. Tax is too darn high. Well, you know what, you're going to have to deal with the taxes because we, uh, we are barely... Now we're turning more of a profit now anyway, so that's good. That's definitely good. No business deals to discuss yet. I need some business deals. Alright, so that's that. And uh, let's see, one last thing we want to do before we turn things over to AeroDash here. Uh, let's see here. Several lighting proposed, reduction proposed, 
was suggested. Conservation. These are all ordinances. Offers garbage deal. Check that deal. Water deal we want to hold on to. Power conservation. Smoking ban. I think that one guy about the recycling center that got rid of that. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, we're good. Stairwell, public access TV. All the ordinances. Okay, so we're good. Good, 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 good. So let's save it here, and uh, we'll be back next week for our last foray with our Extra Life City here in SimCity 3000 uh, before moving on to SimCity 4 uh, for the month of August. My God, we're, the summer is already two-thirds of the way over. Time is flying. Unbelievable. So thank you for watching uh, today. Thank you for joining me today, everyone. This is BJ Weiler. Uh, for the Extra Life stream team, uh, be sure to check out Extra Life. Again, it's 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 a great cause. I mean, you know, really, uh, when you get down to the core of it, it's twofold. You know, we're being real life heroes. I mean, there, there's no other way to, to say. It. I mean, we are helping kids get better. We are saving their lives with the money we raise here for um, our local Children's Miracle Network Hospital, um, and we're also making ourselves as a community look good. You know, again. All sorts of negative stuff about ga the gaming community and all that stuff. So, I mean, some of it not entirely undeserved. Uh, but at the end of the day, Extra Life is one of those things that shows how powerful a community we are as gamers. And how much good we can really do uh, when we come together for a really great cause. Um, th and that's Extra Life. I mean, last year, almost $10 million raised just last year almost 10 million we're just just shy of hitting that goal um so if you come and join us become a participant um for this year for 2017 there, there's no doubt that not only will we hit that goal this year uh we'll probably blow it out of the water and that's 10 million dollars for kids in these hospitals all across north america you can participate from wherever you are in the world uh you know gaming is worldwide gaming is a unifying thing um, that brings us together all over the world you know it doesn't matter where you're from what you do you know what your station is in is in life what the color of your skin is it doesn't matter what you do for a job doesn't, you know none of that matters when you're playing a game um, you know gaming is unifying it brings us all together for something fun and positive um, and Extra Life does even more um, when we're all coming together to save kids' lives and, and raise money for these hospitals. So come join us. Come join us. We have lots of good feels and cookies and everything else. No, we have fun. I mean, at the end of the day, we're having fun here with a great community. And, uh, you know, we're, we're making a real uh, difference in the lives of children and their families by being participants. Um, so, uh, come join us at www.extra-life.org. I am out. Arrow Dash is in. BJ Water saying thanks for watching, everybody. We'll be back next week for SimCity 3000. Uh, until then, I will see everybody in game. <laughs>